Well, boy, howdy. I have, I have laughed and laughed and laughed at you all. Leave these comments on here. I just got to go through them because some of y'all leave some of the funniest shit on here. And I'd want to respond, but I couldn't respond because it messes up the count on how many, on how many comments I got. Anyway, what we're doing this morning is uh, we're going to figure out who has won the t-shirt drawing. Now, nobody claimed the t-shirt for the drawing and the redrawing of a thousand subscribers, so I've still got to give that in away. And this was for the 1,500 subscribers, so we're having two winners. In addition to Melissa, bless her heart, I told her I'd give her a shirt just because just cause she's so nice. And uh, that she begged, you know, that helps. <laughs> anyway, I, I, uh, I wasn't able to respond to any of your comments here. And I want to take a, just a few minutes and do that together here. Let's see here. Uh, Robert Root says, Dear Bob, I love to hear you talk. I live in L.A. in California. And it's a good thing you said L.A. in California because around here, L.A. means Lower Alabama, all right? Anyway, we all out here speak Spanish, or you'd think so. Oh, muy bien, bienvenidos a mi canal. And uh, I'm a new subscriber. Always have fun. Hard work is fun. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Mix Life, he says, I think it's cool you're fixing up an old zero-turn lawnmower. He said, I have one that's about 10 years old. It's also a Swisher 50-inch deck. Well, mine's not a 50 inch, it's a 32 inch. It uses a 50 inch belt. And that's what I was talking about, how nowadays you'd go try to, try to buy parts and, and uh, you tell them this belt's this long and the hell they, they can't look it up. They gotta look it up by what lawnmower come off of, craziness. <clears throat> anyway, let's see. Uh, now, Iron Dog 63, you can't leave 10 comments on here and be entered 10 times. Well, I'm going to have to go in here and delete a bunch of shit. It says, funny comments below. I like doing it cheap. <laughs> you can't do that. Not in a contest. Uh, Gary Morris of Nashville says, cool on tractor. Where in Tennessee are you? Well, I'm about an hour, 15 minutes from the, from the, uh, Nashville Airport, uh, and I got a little farm in Bedford County, Tennessee. Uh, uh, doing it cheap's the only way to do it. Cool lawnmower, I've never seen one before. Yeah, they, they, uh, they're they antique, all right. Uh, let's see, thank you for making videos. I believe in doing it cheap because that's the only way I can afford to do it. Uh, let's see. I like doing it cheap too. I cut up an old cow panel and made a hay feeder for my goats. Thank you for your service. I like being entered. I like the overalls. Howdy from Texas. Uh, oh, I love watching your videos. You're always entertaining and informative. And just for the record, because you told me to say it, kiss my arse, LOL. Arse, I'd say you from across the pond, huh? Well, where are you, where are you from, Chris Priest? Uh, Gerald Golden says, you tell it like it is. Bonnie says, love your video. Always brightens my day when you post a new one. And I, she said, had a real nice comment on another video I did. And I said, I swear, I said, nice folks like you remind me I should be watching my language. I'm sorry. I said, ah, but then it wouldn't be me, so... And she said, oh, that's alright. She says, I like watching you because you're being you and and, and not trying to be politically correct. And that's one thing I ain't gonna be. Uh, let's see. Oh, John Larch tried pork tenderloin the way I, way I do it. He said, damn, that was good. Well, thank you, John Larch. <laughs> There's one guy, hell, I like doing it cheap, so why the hell not have a t-shirt? <laughs> Jesse Allen, I want a cheaper than dirt shirt. Well, you're gonna have to go to another channel. <laughs> he says, LOL, queers, LOL, tell more jokes in your videos. I will, I will. 
And uh, Romero Cedar says, pity most comments are people trying to win shirts. Oh, well, hell, Romero's. It's a contest. It's the idea is try to win a shirt. He says, I actually enjoy the videos. It's different. I like the accent. I ain't got no accent. What the hell are you talking about? <coughs> he says, uh, Vernon says, thanks for your videos. Speaking your mind. Keep making those videos. Love watching all of them. Oh, Trail 77 says, make them all, man. <laughs> uh, would be proud of we're doing it, cheap tea. Scott says, you be you, boo. Oh, Backroads82, he's hilarious. And, uh, oh, what, by the way, Backroads82, thank you for finding out a muffler for that Swisher lawnmower. I appreciate that. Man, just as quick as I saw the link he put up, I clicked it. It was a buy it now at eBay, and I just clicked buy it now. Fifteen ninety five for that buffler, but that was with shipping, so that wasn't too bad. They hard to find. I told him maybe I ought to just save it and, and maybe put my kids through my grandkids through college on it. Darn they're expensive and hard to get. And uh, he says, Bob, you need to quit beating around the bush about things. Go ahead and say what's on your mind. <laughs> Here's I like doing it cheap. Keep it going, never been politically correct, never would be I like you channel doing it cheap I like doing it cheap too oh Trader Joe he's always good for a comment oh, oh we ain't gonna get into his Mike Wins Wiscombe from across the pond says keep doing it cheap Todd Ogre he says I like a t-shirt Bob oh and kiss my ass <laughs> oh me uh, good coffee and just listen to those birds I enjoy all your videos Mike Fortune in uh, Ireland. He says, it can't be March 5th, this is April. Did you mean May the 5th? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell, I'm old. You know, they, they, uh, they say the, uh, the first two things that go as you age, number one is your memory. And hell, I can't remember what that second one is. Anyway, uh, Oh, Mike, now you left two comments. I have to delete one. He said, the, he says, the subscribers that are here now are the ones who want to be here. I, for one, enjoy your banter, and I have never heard you offend anybody. Believe me, we have heard much worse than that. Well, <laughs> Mike, I've offended a bunch of people. <coughs> but that's too damn bad. I, uh, I tell you what, I've never laughed so much in my life as, as I have with you all. Oh, Bernie Clement says, kiss my ass. LOL, you're in the right year, just wrong month. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, let's see. Oh, Terry C. Terry C., I, want, I, I, I just want to say, man, I do appreciate you coming back. I really do. Uh, remember, nobody can agree with everything anybody says. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, if I ever offend you again, you will uh, just, you know, tell me to kiss your ass and but but still stay subscribed because I'm, that next video might be something you'd enjoy. And, and anyway, Terry C says, trouble with us old farts is we call a spade a spade, but we got to sometimes learn to agree to disagree. LOL. I got pissed at you before and quit. Now I'm back again, LOL. Like I said, Terry, I appreciate that, and uh, I, I really do. And, and to any of y'all out there, if, if I ever uh, put up a video that really hurt your feelings, hey, let me know so I can do it again. No, just kidding. <laughs> oh, me. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, <laughs> Uh, Brent says, all retired military not afraid to state their opinions on what they believe. After all, we fought for everyone to have that, right? I just happen to think like you. Cool. Oh, Timothy Hill says, I'd like to get your t-shirt because I have no self-respect and I have a lot of people I want to offend. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Steve says, can't please everybody. Some people just like to bitch. LOL, keep it up. There's a wire dog again. I like doing it cheap. 
Iron Dog, the only other comments got to come off there. And Dave White says, doesn't March come before April? Did you mean May 5th? Shit, I just made two comments. Ah, yeah, yeah, and <laughs> I mean, it was like just within a few minutes of me posting this video, you know, people saying that crap. So I went back and the rest of y'all saw the little banners I put on here. Dave says, screw the PC crowd. If they don't want to hear your, if they don't want to hear you change your freaking channel. Don't answer, this is a comment. Let's see. Gene Chambers says, can't wait to see the old mower running, drinking coffee for me. Gene's from across the pond too, I believe. And there's Melissa Jennings, bless her heart. Ken Rowell, hey, can you hear me even though I'm across the big pond? You damn right. No, I, I would be honored to have so much shit over in England and Europe. People say, where the hell do you get that? That all from this crazy son of a bitch. <laughs> and uh, Jet Jew Boy, <laughs> I laugh at you, man. You come up with some wild shit. Says, if you put a if you put in your video description something like doing LGBT on the cheap with Donald Trump and the Illuminati, you would have one big viral video with a fleece heartbeat. <laughs> oh me. I gotta tell you all this. Linda Smith says, you still giving away those tasteless and tacky shirts? I had sent her one out in Idaho. And she said she wore, she was wearing it one day to a farmer's market. Bunch, and and uh, Linda is uh, a little older than me. And she, she said, a lot of the women liked it because you know, I like doing it cheap. So here's this woman wearing, I like doing it cheap. And, this, and she said, everybody liked it except this one woman. She said, oh, that's tasteless and tacky. She said, you think his shirt is? You ought to see the guy that made it. <laughs> oh, she said, you still giving away those tasteless and tacky shirts? Well, I reckon I can use another one. I can offend twice as many people. <laughs> Oh, me. Oh, and Stinky Labinowitz. If y'all ever get a chance to just read the comments on my videos, Stinky, he's, he, he's loyal to me. He, he's always leaving a comment, and, and it's always something to laugh about. He's saying, hey, everybody, Bob changed his mind. Now he wants you to put your name and address on the dollar bill. Larger bills are okay, too. And send it to Stinky Labinowitz, BR549. Stinkyville, Tennessee. From there, Bob will be drawing the winner. <laughs> Little shit. <laughs> oh, and there's a PS. There's no limit number of dollars you can send to enter. So make it the more the merrier. <laughs> Melvin Schmuckleback says, can't wait to see if that lawnmower will haul yourself around the yard. Well, if, uh, if you recall, I, I said that I did run the thing between full throttle and choke just trying to keep it going. That's why I was going to have to rebuild that carburetor. And uh, I did mow with it. So, oh yeah, it pulled me around just fine. Even though I weighed 290 pounds. Uh, keep the videos rolling. You be you. Piss on being politically correct. Love your show, but March is over. Yeah, I know. Doing it cheap for president. Yeah, let's see. March or May 5th, LGBT, lazy griping, bitching all the time because they don't get their way. It, it's your channel. If and people don't like what you got to say, they can kiss my ass also. Have a great day. And old Grizz 270 said, you know, for Trump supporter, you ain't half bad. And uh, Justin says, morning, sir. Although I don't watch political videos or the rant videos, I really enjoy your channel and look forward to watching can't wait to see the more restoration. Me too, man. Uh, Lou Power, you and I are one, one mind when it comes to all this bullshit. Okay. So, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to pause my uh, camera now. i got to go here and, and pull off these uh, uh, duplicated, or not duplicated, but multiple comments. Like I said, a wire dog, he's got a, about a dozen in here. <laughs> i got to get him down to one. And uh, Jet Jubal has got a few extra. 
Uh, anyway, let me uh, let me get an accurate count on how many uh, how many uh, people we got on here, and, and we'll have this draw. Oh hell! Y'all just listen to some music. This ain't gonna take long. Shit. <laughs> It looks like we got 112 different people that left a comment. Now, what I don't understand is there was 278 views. So that means like 166 people didn't even bother to comment. I reckon they got all the clothing they need. Or maybe they'd be embarrassed. Where am I doing a cheap t-shirt? Ah. Anyhow, all right, y'all remember that magic uh, 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 random number generator here? Uh, random, there we go, random number generator. Uh. Okay, let me get this camera over here so we can all see it happen. See it happen in real time this morning. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh. All right. Now. I'm going to go ahead and do both of them at the same time. I mean, one right after the other while we're sitting here. Okay, we're going to have two, we're going to generate two different numbers between one and 112, okay? Let me find something right with. 
My memory is about as long as something else I've got. Ah, uh, generate. And the result is 39. And we're going to do it one more time. Generate. And the result is 86. Alrighty then. Well, let me get out of here and go to the comments. All right, let me see if I can get this camera set where you can see the screen as I'm doing all this. Yeah, that's close, that's close enough. All right, I gotta go 39. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, Jonathan, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, Chris, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, Randy, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, Romeros, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, Scott. 37, 38, 39. Frank Bruner. Frank Bruner. Let's keep it going. Never been politically correct and never will be. I mean, you uh, wouldn't believe what I'm having to climb around over here to do this. But, uh, there it is. Frank Bruner. You're the winner. You're one, you're, you're one of the winners. So Frank, I need you to contact me. Uh, you can leave a comment on, on any of my videos because I'll see it. Uh, but leave a comment. I need to know what size. And send me an email to callbob4signs at yahoo.com. I'll, I'll put it on this video here. I'll put a screen or a, 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 what do you call it, a caption or whatever on here, my, the uh, email address to use. But Frank, you are a winner, buddy, all right? So let me just uh, back off a little bit. And uh, Frank was number 39. Oh, 39, Frank Bruner. No, Stinky, you can't pretend to be Frank Bruner. Okay, let's see. Uh, Frank was 39. 40, 41, 42 was Trader Joe. 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50 was Mike Fortune. That was 50. 51, 52, 53. 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 81, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89 is Lou Power. No, that's 89, 87, 86. I ain't believing this shit. Grizz 270, you old bastard. Grizz 270. Let me write that down before I forget. Grizz 270. He says, for a Trump supporter, you ain't half bad, LOL. <laughs> All right. Let's zoom in here. Grizz 270. There you are. All right. Those are the winners. Now, there was one other thing that I was asked. People was wondering, could they buy a shirt? Well... Let me tell you something, these dead gum shirts, the way I make them, is kind of expensive. The material that I imprint with is, is like uh, 
like the numbers on a like, like on an NFL football jersey. Okay, the the uh, material is actually cut on my vinyl sign machine, and then I use a heat press to press it in. But I can get. Uh, I've got a friend that's got a silk screen shop here in town. I don't silk screen anymore. I used to. But I've got a friend that's got a silk screen shop here in town. And he's got a whole bunch of, you know, leftover t-shirts because buy them by the dozen or the case. And if, if you are interested in a, I like doing a cheap t-shirt that's screen printed instead of using this uh, <clears throat> more expensive method. I think I can get them and ship them for nine dollars each. Now, if you would be interested, what I would like for you to do is leave a comment on this video. I'm not asking for no money right now. I'm just trying to get up how many people would be interested in buying an I like doing a cheap t-shirt that's been, you know, silk screened. And I believe I can, I can uh, have it made and shipped to you for $9. I ain't trying to make no money off of it. Uh, I just, man, I just appreciate the fact that you want one. So, if that would interest you, like I said, leave your name or just leave a comment on, on this video saying, you know, I would be willing to buy one. I'd like one and what size. Then what I'll do is I'll go to my buddy and I'll see what he's got and then uh, uh, we'll get together and I'll say, okay, this is the PayPal you need to send it to and, and you've got until this date to do it and, and uh, uh, you know, get your order in, okay? And then I'll just have them make them all up and I'll, I'll send them out to you. So, like I said, if you'd like one, be about $9. These others, like I'm giving away now, they're 20 bucks because the material I use, just the material, cost almost seven dollars a square foot so by the time I have that plus the cost of the t-shirt and the cost of shipping and all the other stuff that goes in, into it, it they're twenty dollars so and I can't do no better than that so and I really don't want to make a bunch of them <clears throat> these are these are special these are you know these are real nice and I want everybody you know to, to subscribe and, and get drawn for them anyway Congratulations to Frank Brunner and Grizz270. Now, you fellers, you all have got, you know, let's see, oh my goodness, this is the 6th, this is, this is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night. You got, let's say, until Wednesday night, which is, what, the 11th, uh, to, uh, to, uh, let me, you know, get a hold of me. Just leave a comment on here, you know, what size you need. I will respond with the email. Well, you've got to get a hold of me. Either, either comment here or send me an email to call Bob for signs at yahoo.com. <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm so, so, uh, uh, I don't know, confused. I guess I ain't had, I ain't had enough coffee yet. Hell, it's only 7.25 in the morning. Shit. Oh, and it had another cool morning out there. I took the garbage out. Shit, I thought I was going to freeze. Of course, if I hadn't been naked, it would probably been different. But... Anyway, <laughs> y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye.